I had slept through the day and knew that it was almost time for my officially issued Femme Fatale to arrive. It was the 17th Annual Private Investigator Investigation Competition, and I was finally going to win it. My hair was combed, and my nunchucks were ready. <laughs> All I had to do was wait for that fateful knock. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hammer. I hope you can help me. Don't know where else to go. From the moment she walked in the door, I knew it was going to be a long night. It was Melody Mars, by all accounts, a lousy draw. But if I was going to get my hands on those Venetian curtains and a year's supply of Lucky Strike cigarettes, I was going to have to see this thing through. Melody Mars! I thought I told you I'd hit you with nunchucks if you showed up here again. You know damn well I didn't have a choice when I pulled your name out of that hat, Hank. Now are you going to help me or not, you neurotic ass? I'll help you, Poppy. <laughs> but only because I have to. Don't mistake my services for anything other than what they are. The need for Venetian curtains that cast a proper shadow on my face and upper torso while I drink bourbon. All right, well, here's the scoop gauch. Gauch, really? What does that Shut mean? up! I was sitting in my parlor when I heard a noise from the sunroom where I keep my jewelry. And by the time I got there, the place was ransacked and the jewelry was gone. Well, it's about as cliche as you can get. Cliche or not, that's your case, Hank. All they left behind was a whole lot of nothing. Good luck. <laughs> By the finality of Melody's last line, I knew I was up, and I'd have to start self-narrating. I honestly wish I'd gone into a profession that didn't require constant first-person narration, like soil science. But once I won the AP double IC for the 17th year in a row, I could quit private detecting for good. Maybe become a bus driver or something. All I had to do now was wait for my clients. Dramatic entrance. Good to see you, Sam. Good God, Edith Alton. I've gotten you for 17 years in a row. What are the chances? Good enough to win our bet, it looks like. It also looks like you owe me $5, but that can wait. What do you say we get down to brass tacks? Sounds good. What have you got, Edith? It's my jewels, Sam. I hired a goon to steal them back from the person who stole them from me, but something went wrong. The goon never came back, and I still don't have my jewels. You'd think I'd have more details, but I don't. Got it. <laughs> good luck, Sam. It was about as simple as a sizzling sausage on a sunny Saturday. And by that, I mean I knew what to do. I went over to the place where Edith's goon may have met his maker. And as I was going through, I realized it was time to go undercover. <laughs> I drove over to Melody's place. And as I walked up to the mansion, I noticed a shady character trying to break in through the window. Hey! Get away from that window unless you want to get shut so hard you'll say it. Hank! What the hell are you doing here? Are you trying to horn in on my case? I wasn't trying to horn in on anything. Oh, was Sam this close? It may finally be my chance to take her out and win the AP double IC. I can hear you. But how would I do it? The cops would recognize nunchuck wounds. And I wouldn't have time to tie her up and stuff her in my trunk. Whatever. As I knew Hank would be stuck in a narration loop for quite a while, I went over and continued <laughs> to look and found a box mysteriously in front of me. Looks like I'd have to use the old Hank Hammond shot. His narration loop was going to continue for quite a while, so I took my time investigating the mysterious box. I tried to think of all the charming things I used to say to ladies back in my college days. <laughs> but I had partial amnesia from my early 20s, so the going was slow. It appeared to be a jewelry box. Didn't I have one about a woman bringing hope into an inherently corrupt world full of moral ambiguity? Holy shit! It's Edith Alton's! She had written her name in Sharpie under the lid. Hey there, Sam. You're a... It's a girl like you doing. Something about angels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want a cigarette? I'm fine. And once I turn this in, I'm gonna win the AP double IC for the 17th year in a row. And look at that! I've stopped self-narrating. Looks like I've won again. Maybe now I'll become a hedge fund manager or the best goddamn bus driver in the world. <laughs> As I watched it leave, I thought, 
maybe being a bus driver wasn't such a bad idea. People don't mind a bus driver who self narrates because they're on a bus. They have their own problems. But for the time being, I was a PI. I was a PI named Hank Hammer. I was a PI named Hank Hammer with dunchucks. You know, no matter how you slice it, that's a pretty kick ass piece of pie. Blackout. 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 <laughs> <laughs>